Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and I'm going to give you a few quick tips on using Google Maps using the web browser instead of using Google Earth, which is an application. Some people prefer to use Google Maps because it is not a top-heavy application such as Google Earth because it's very graphical. If you're using the Firefox web browser, I'll show you a little cool trick you can do. In the search bar for Google Maps, you can simply right-click this and left-click add a keyword for this search and then from the window that comes up for add bookmark put the name is map and the keyword is map and then click OK then what happens is when you go and anytime you go to the address bar after that I can just type map and then whatever location I want I'll put it in Tampa FL and I'll go directly to Tampa Florida pretty cool huh it whenever you type map and a location it goes right there pretty slick now if you have a gmail account and you're logged in. You can actually save any location to uh, to a little uh, directory here. And I'll click Save to My Maps. I'll say, which map do you want to save to? My Save Places is there by default. I'll hit Save. And uh, that's that. Now it's saved into My Places. So if I go to the left here, I'll say Created by Me, My Saved Places. I'll click that and uh, there is Tampa FL and it's right here put it in the description if I want put it in doesn't matter now here's a little GPS geeky geeky feature if you're trying to find the coordinates of a particular spot there's a link that says link to this page if I click this and here's how you actually get the coordinates because some people actually like to get this information to plug into a GPS later, like a Garmin Street Pilot or something like that, or in MapSource, which is a Garmin software product. If I, in the paste link in email or IM, I just single left click and then I press the left arrow key on my keyboard, you'll notice that as I scroll to the left here, right here, here's my coordinates, 27.946846, um, which is, I believe, north and negative 82 which means west dot four five nine three one and that is these are the actual coordinates now just to go over that again for any location here I mean I'll type in a different location I'll put in Boston MA Boston Massachusetts and there is Boston Massachusetts and if I go to link to this page and I do the same thing I click in here I press left arrow key and I scroll to the left. Oh, there it is right there. So you may have to continue to press your arrow key to see the whole thing. There it is. 42 by 367676 by negative 71.056824. And those are the actual coordinates for this location. So uh, if you're trying to find out how to get look actual coordinate longitude latitudes out of Google Maps that's the way to do it so if you use this in combination with the uh, putting in a keyword search and you use the saved locations and then after that you can uh, find out how to get the coordinates you can go ahead and uh, talk to your GPS very easily and it's also good for marking things and so on and so forth also you may notice this KML thing if you want to know what this is if you click on it you'll actually open it as a Google Earth file now this is only if you have Google Earth installed mind you uh, so if you want to trade things that you find on Google Maps into Google Earth this is the way to do it so Google has made it very easy now they didn't have this originally they introduced this later uh, slowly but surely they've actually been introducing features into this so it talks easier to Google Earth and I use that software a lot myself so that's actually very advantageous to have that so uh, also uh, like I said having the Gmail account and having saved locations it really does help out if you use Google Maps a lot and uh, also uh, concerning your saved locations what you can do now as, as you can see I have Boston Mass in there you can actually uh, create different locations if you want to you can make some public you can make some private if you want to like for Boston MA if I go to edit and I could assign it a label if I want to uh, whatever I want uh, oh yeah the, the private stuff if I go to um, just back to the map here 
just type in Boston MA. And uh, let's see here. I go to my maps right here. Now there's my saved places, but if I want to create a new map, I'll just do this, and it's untitled. And then you know you can put in the title and description, and then there's the option to make it public or unlisted. So if you create a map set here, uh, what you can do is hit unlisted and to just type my private locations, and then put the title as I'll you know, just call it private, and then hit save. And anything that I mark in the map, I can put into the private location, and it's only uh, viewable by me. Like, let's just say, for example, I type in another town, uh, Orlando FL. Okay, there's Orlando, Florida. If I go to save to my maps now, I have the choice of, uh, you know, the private. So I can go ahead and save it to the private location, and then hit OK. And it's only viewable in the private location. Pretty cool, pretty easy. So that's some stuff to do in Google Maps. Uh, it's a lot more powerful than most people give it credit for. It's not just for uh, simple stuff. You can actually get really advanced with this. So, uh, And if you do have any suggestions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Take it easy, people.